Hey, how's it going? This is Melinda and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about stereo equipment. And you know, I'm a huge vinyl record collector, but without proper stereo equipment that sounds good, vinyl records just aren't going to be that great. I am very happy with a couple of acquisitions I have made and they have really made a huge difference in my vinyl listening experience. And I wanna share them with you. So if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate your support. And about a year and a half ago, I made a stereo equipment video showing everything that I had. And I've made some upgrades since then. First off, I now have floor speakers that sound tremendous. I made an upgrade on my stylus. I went from an Ortofon 2M Red, which sounded really good, to an Ortofon 2M Blue, which I could tell immediately was an upgrade. And I really loved the results of those. And now I have also um, had some really cool acquisitions from a company called Emotiva. What I really like about Emotiva is that they are really they're located close to where i live near nashville tennessee they are a small private company and they are directly from them to the consumer so you save money you don't have a middleman in between they also get great reviews from everything i've researched so here is what i have got from emotiva that has made my stereo equipment sound incredible I have recently acquired an Emotiva Base X A300 Stereo Power Amplifier. And I have also acquired an Emotiva XPS1 High Performance Phono Preamplifier. And I must say that just adding these two additions to my stereo equipment Wow, what a difference they have made. Let me show you a recently acquired record that wasn't cheap. Look at this. This is the Mobile Fidelity Original Master Recording of Chicago Transit Authority. This is a killer record. Killer Guitars by Terry Kaff. Wonderful horns, beautiful vocals. And I've never heard it as good as I hear it now. I feel like I have great separation of sounds, amazing sound stage. It's more like they are performing live on stage for me in my own room. I also have just really crisp highs. The bass is very tight and the voices, they just have never sounded better. So I really love listening to this record with my recent acquisitions from Emotiva. Also, you all know I love Pink Floyd. I have this record along with a couple of other copies of this album, The Dark Side of the Moon. This is the 30th anniversary album and I must say I gave this one a listen with my upgrades from Emotiva. Incredible. The details of the guitar are unbelievable. There's just so much more detail to listen to and you've got to have the right stereo equipment but you don't have to spend a ton of money and that's what I think is really cool. You know, for us, we're saving money for our daughter. She's in medical school. We're trying to save for our retirement. We've got other things we want to do. So stereo equipment is important, but not at the top of the list of what we want to spend money for. So having these upgrades little by little is so important. And Dark Side of the Moon is a record I listen to probably every other week or so, I'm hearing details I've never heard before. And so if I'm going to acquire these really expensive pressings of records, I want my stereo equipment to be able to deliver the sound. And with the new upgrades that I have, I'm just absolutely floored, impressed, thrilled, just everything you can name. Now to fully explain how I feel about the stereo equipment. I also wanted to bring along my husband, Philip, and the reason why he listens to vinyl with me. And he also, thank you very much, set up the stereo equipment for me. So I wanted to ask him a couple of questions also, just to kind of 
lets you have an idea of how he feels about it because you know he's a straight shooter and he tells the truth. And uh, so I've got a few questions to ask Philip about our new acquisitions from Emotiva. Um, first of all, was it easy to install? Because thankfully he installed it for me. Uh, yeah, it's really easy to install. Basically, we had an integrated receiver and amplifier. So that amplifier was had the preamp in it. Uh, it also had the amplifier, uh, tone controls, all of that. So basically just bypassed the internal preamp and put in the uh, emotive phono preamp and then also bypass the amplifier through the pre-outs. And so really easy to set up. So yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Good, okay. So um, <clears throat> do you think the price is fair for what we got? Is it a good return for the money if you purchase from an Emotiva? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, that's one of the things in our research, we've been looking for some equipment for a long time, both vintage and modern. Mm -hmm. And when you start getting into audiophile equipment, it can be very expensive if you start looking at I mean, anywhere from Marantz to Macintosh, that stuff can get really expensive. <laughs> and some of the some of the vintage equipment uh, can get incredibly expensive as well. And if you look at Emotiva, what we found was that the equipment, it's there's no middleman. So you don't have a distributor, you don't have a retailer, so you're cutting out a, at least a couple of levels of expense there. Mm -hmm. So I think you'd be hard pressed to find any equipment for the money that was even close. I mean, I think you'd have to spend two, three, four, five times the money to even match what you can get from them. That's the way I felt after we looked around and listened to this equipment. Yeah, the reviews were really good from everything I could see. Okay. Yeah, they get really good reviews and a uh, very responsive company. You know, email if you call them. Uh, and like she mentioned earlier, I think they're down in Franklin, Tennessee, which is just mm -hmm. south of Nashville, so actually really close to us. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can make it down there and maybe visit their factory sometime. That would be awesome. I think that'd be a lot of fun. All <laughs> right, so um, the most important thing out of all of this, did you notice an immediate difference in the sound? Yeah, I think we both did. I mean, we hooked it up. Mm -hmm. We What we did, we took the equipment that we had and we listened to several records together, mm -hmm. stuff we both knew pretty well mm -hmm. um, and kind of listened very intently, you know, sit on the couch, close your eyes and kind of envision things and, and listen. And then I hooked everything up uh, with the Emotiva phono preamp and the Emotiva power amp, the stereo amplifier. And we both noticed a, a marked difference for me just from a technical aspect, I think that equipment keeps everything much more true to what it's meant to be, true life sound. The lows were lower and crisper. The highs were there. Um, you know, you could hear some nuances in the music that we hadn't heard before. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I definitely noticed an immediate difference, no doubt, because we both were immediately like, okay, yeah, we are we made the right decision here. Yes, and as a vinyl nerd, I also had him, after a while of listening with these upgrades, I made him take them out because I wanted to hear how we were listening to music before, and I think it's kind of like you don't know what you don't know. We thought we had great sound until we added this, and it's like, whoa what were we missing so i thought that was really cool yeah and what you had wasn't terrible no um, I, I you agree. know but but it was a an older uh, home theater yamaha amplifier is what we were using mm -hmm. and you know it wasn't designed for audiophile stereo vinyl listening it mm -hmm. was really designed for home theater a uh, five channel home theater um, it happened to have a phono preamp built into it which was fine but mm -hmm. uh, like you said you don't know what you don't know right. until you listen to uh, more auto audio file equipment and mm -hmm. um, i was pretty blown away i feel like this preamp amplifier kind of made the best out of what we had with our stylus and new speaker upgrades i think they brought out the best of those choices also do you agree with that yeah definitely all right so um i wanted to ask you this too what should we do in the future what upgrades um should we make in the future to maybe even build upon what we have now? Well, that's a good question. Um, there was one unintended consequence of the upgrade. <laughs> um, the receiver that we have was actually pretty quiet, but once we bypassed the amplifier in that receiver and used the pre-amplifier outputs, that receiver is actually putting a little bit of a hum. It's not even really a hum. It's not like a 60 hertz hum. No, it's more, so it's, a, uh, it's a buzz around 120 hertz that's caused probably by an internal ground loop. 
in that receiver. It's just some faulty circuitry or something or just not quite isolated the way it should be. And so by using that output, we're getting a little bit of a buzz. And like mm -hmm. she said, it's not bad, no. but if you're listening to some jazz or classical and it gets real quiet and you have the volume up, you can hear just a little bit of a buzz and that, bo that bothers me. Um, and it would be nice to have a better uh, tuner and a preamp. Not, not the preamp we have is great, but it'd be nice if it was integrated with a tuner, uh, some uh, bass and treble controls so you can control it a little bit better. Um, but for the most part, for me, it's really just to get rid of that slight buzz that that Yamaha receiver in its pre-output circuitry is putting into the, the chain right now. Yeah, and once the music plays, we don't really hear that buzz. It's just really kind of at the start and at very, very quiet parts. But um, yeah, so I don't know, any turntables in the future? <laughs> well, and that, that probably is a next step as well. Uh, I mean, you have a decent turntable. Uh, the main reason she has it is when she was new to vinyl several years ago, matter of fact, on Valentine's Day, I think, yes. I bought her a new turntable. Mm -hmm. And in all my research, um, a turntable that's not automatic, you get better sound quality typically. But at the time, she was pretty new to uh, vinyl and turntables and having an automatic start, automatic return was very important to her. Yes, it was um, my decision so, to do that. Yeah. So we got a Denon 300, DP 300F, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Denon, yeah. And so we got her that, and it's actually a pretty good turntable. It, it pairs is. really well with the Ortofon 2M Red we had, and now the 2M Blue, and it sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think probably sometime next on the list will be a, a better, more audio file turntable. And I know you're a lot more comfortable with doing manual at this oh, point. Oh, much more now, much you just, more now. Mm -hmm. You just can't fall asleep no. with a record on because then it'll just stay in the dead wax. Yeah, and <laughs> I really night. don't. I don't <laughs> tend to fall asleep during listening to records. So, okay, well, um, I'm going to leave a link to Emotiva in case you want to know more about the company. We've been really happy with the upgrades. Yeah. I feel like we're slowly but surely building up an amazing sounding um, equipment that we're really really pleased with and thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel take care bye bye